we're looking at the medial side of the cat's leg and there are two superficial muscles here. The sartorius, which um, is called the Taylor's muscle because it helps you sit cross-legged like Taylor's had to. And this is the gracilis muscle and it helps you adduct your thigh. Now, once those are both transected, you can see more muscles. These muscles from on this part are the front of the thigh. These are the muscles on the back of the thigh. The muscles on the back of the thigh are called the hamstrings and they are made of three primary groups. The semimembranosus muscle, the semitendinosus muscle, and the biceps femoris, which we'll see on the when we flip the cat to the other side. The front of the thigh is made up of the quadriceps muscle and you have the vastus medialis, the rectus femoris, and the vastus lateralis, which we'll see once we flip the cat. These muscles right here are called the adductor group. It's actually several muscles that all help to adduct your thigh. Now I'm gonna flip the leg. And now you can see from the back part of the sartorius muscle, and you can see quite a bit of the tensor fascia lata. The tensor fascia lata is attached all the way down to the knee with thick fascia that you had to cut through in order to do the dissection. Now that we flip the cat, we can see the vastus lateralis very clearly. This muscle right here is the gluteus maximus. On the cat, it's actually smaller than the gluteus medius. On humans, the gluteus maximus is the large muscle on your buttocks that helps to extend your thigh. Now you can see the biceps femoris on the back. So to reiterate, the hamstrings group, which helps to extend your thigh and flex your knee, consists of the biceps femoris, which has been transected, the semitendinosus, and the semimembranosus. You can also see on the, the back of this thigh, this is part of the adductor group here. 